Hello everybody, welcome back to the Collector's Vault. Mike is back with more AM2R. And uh, yeah, so let's continue where we're going. Um, last we left off, we uh, actually just we, uh, cleared all the Metroids and defeated both the tower and the... Uh, uh, what's it called? The, the power plant in the, uh, the basement of the tower. And uh, now we're actually going to... It, it might be my favorite place in the entire... Oops. We're going to, to the, the next area, Area 5, which is actually brand new to Metroid 2. Uh, this area was, like, like the cave system was not in the original Metroid 2. This is actually completely new. It was it was added by Dr. M, Dr. M64 and his team. And that's what's uh, up here over here. And uh, it might be my favorite area in the entire game. Area 5 has basically been given a whole new, like, a whole look, a whole soundtrack, and it's all basically based on... Okay. Uh, basically, it is called the Distribution Center, and it is a facility that... Sorry, I'm trying to get my speed booster going. Ah. It is a facility that actually takes the energy from, the, like, all the water from the hydro station and the energy from the power plant and, I guess, distributes it all over the uh, the whole area where all, all the structures are. Hmm. And it uh, has, has a really cool, like, uh, water theme to it. The hydro station did have had some water, but this is more like the area is purposefully ah, the area is actually flooded, and it's uh, pretty interesting. And you'll see why it's flooded for a very cool reason. I don't know. Ah, I lost it. Can't kill these things, and they won't respawn. Hopefully, yeah. So it's it's, it's a flooded complex, and it's a really it has a really cool aesthetic to it. There we go. There we go. Anyway. Uh, and because this thing was brand new, the actual, the actual music that was uh, used for the distribution center is not... Um, they didn't actually have it based on anything. It's not inspired... Well, I'm sure there's some inspiration, but it's not like like a, a, rem a like a remaster of an actual Metroid song like the other tracks are. This is actually com this is actually all completely done by... Uh, uh, Power Bomb, I think. There it goes. By uh, Torby Brand. Uh, again, I'm, I'm a big fan of his, and he was actually able to completely... Uh, contribute a brand new soundtrack, ah, a brand new song. Like, all the songs in the area are all done by him. It's all original, and when you hear it, it is just incredible. Torby, props to you, man. So we're getting there. Ooh, look at that. Eight Metroids. All right. Uh oh. So let's keep going, and we're actually right here. To the distribution center, and again, initially the music is a really, really excellent, like mellow song. It definitely has like li like a, an aquatic vibe to it. There we go. Ooh, in the logbook. Yep, massive effort of electrical conduits. Basically, again, yeah, it, 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 it distributes like energy, electricity, and water all over the all the structures in the area, which is kind of cool. Kind of like brings them all together, and that will actually makes sense because this place is actually going to be where we do our fast traveling because uh, they all, all this connects to all the other previous areas and uh, gosh listen to that music and the uh, our scan visor mentioned that a pipe collapsed which actually ah, you can see it right there the uh, it's like the little touch house like actually pouring water into this cave system that again it's not supposed to be flooded in here but it is so it's kind of a cool little theme to it these little guys are loving the water but they gotta kill these guys and uh, there actually is like an under underground theme here, underground uh, like area of tunnels, but it's all flooded, so we really can't ah, we can't get in there because our uh, you know right now water still really hinders our movement. That might give you an idea of what we're going to be getting as an upgrade here pretty soon. Metro fans right now, ah, come on, die! These are really annoying. There we go. Ugh, finally, there we go. God, the music's just incredible. Good job, Torby. A lot of mechanical items in this area, too. Yeah. There we go. And actually, you'll see that the, this area is actually also, like, powered down, kind of. Similar to the, uh, the tower. And, uh, we will have to actually bring power back to it. So here's a gimmick. So, these robots here... <laughs> basically shoot out energy when they're disturbed, and so don't shoot them. Oh, I just shot it. <laughs> just 
those things do hurt you a lot, so you just gotta just take cover when that happens. Yeah, I think even missiles won't, won't, uh, they, they, they will still make them explode, so. Alright, let's go. Yeah, we're actually, did it again. Unfortunately, it doesn't hurt these guys. I didn't realize one of those things was up there. Ah! There we go. Yeah, but when we do power this station back up, then the music for the powered up version of this place is pretty... Ah, oh, crap. There we go. Uh, trying to dodge it. Oh, I did. Explode. There we go. Everywhere. Yeah, so the uh, the upper areas where we are, there's not there's, these chambers aren't uh, <laughs> these chambers aren't flooded, but yeah, the underground areas where the uh, real flooding is, so we can't quite explore there yet. Let's see, I can't remember if there's any walls here. Nope. I think this might be where we... Uh, it's a shame. I don't want the, the music to end, because I just love this theme so much, but we are going to be reactivating this d distribution center, and a great new song will be uh, called Agent Power. That's just where we call it. All right, now the distribution center is properly working. And all those little robots you're seeing are actually dropping off little, like, batteries, and, they'll be, and they're actually going to be all over even the previous areas, like... The Hydra Station, the industrial complex, they're all gonna have this is what this is how we get to the end game where we can actually use these little batteries that are being placed everywhere to power nodes and uh, open the white doors that we could open before. There we go. Uh, that was, ah, speed booster. I should have just let me uh There we go. I don't know if I can speed booster too. That's ah, screw attack. Okay. But yeah, this uh this track's pretty amazing. Ancient power. Completely done by Mr. Torby Brand. Here's one of those little uh, batteries. Now, if you, if you, similar to those other robots, if you shoot this with a power beam, it'll explode. Your missiles and your morph ball bombs will not make it explode. And these are the little uh, things that they will power up. See? It opens up. Yeah. The neat thing is, but when you do when you do make those little batteries explode, they create like an EMP, so any mechanical enemy is just deactivated, which is pretty interesting. Yeah. Come on, there it goes. See, all the robots just completely turned off, which is pretty interesting. I think that room was supposed to show you that that's what these things can do. The EMPs also hurt your uh, your weapon systems. Come on. I know you want to. Oh no, please come down. Here we go. Yeah, I think this is where my one save room was. Yeah, uh, uh, there. Yep. Yeah. Let's go this way. I think there's a Metroid in this room, so get super missiles ready. Yep. Ooh, look, he's actually following me, but he won't attack. Ah! I don't know if he will turn on, but he won't do it. Alright, cool. I think there's no way for me to actually turn to hit those things. God. Idiot. Ah, I'm an idiot. God. Come on. Ah. Oh. All right. So his beam weapons, or his arm weapons, do that. You see the little robots drop off the batteries again. God. Gosh, I hate. I hate Zayden so much. I hate these things so much. Ooh. That sound is my... Oh. That sound you're hearing is my washer and dryer. They are super loud. Sounds like an earthquake. 
Hopefully it's not too laughing, you guys. I hope... Yeah. Uh, let's see. These little, uh, things are cool. Kind of reminds me of those, like, male, like, the, like, the banks have those. TD Bank has those little, like, uh, like, those tubes that, that transfer, like, letters and stuff. All those buildings had them. So that's kind of how you, the, uh, this, this area does have these things. That And these things will send you all over back to the previous area. It's kind of cool. Uh, yeah, these things. Die. Pretty good on time. We might be able to get our first upgrade. I think that's your game right now. First upgrade, first upgrade of the area. Ah, die. Alright. I want to do that. I think sometimes I just like causing pain. Ow, 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 ow. And as you can see, yeah, these things do hurt you. So now, what we're supposed to do is just use your Morpho Bombs to, you know, my washer and dryer makes the whole place shake. Jesus Christ. That's all you're hearing. Actually, that's really annoying. I think I'm gonna let the washer the washer and dryer finish and then uh, I'll continue with this. Uh so yeah. Let's take take a quick timeout. <laughs> Three hours later. Alright, so it seems like the washer and dryer finally stopped making the whole building shake, so let's continue on with this. So, again, please, if, if, please don't y'all be in the comments below. I'm, I'm pretty sure I am missing some, uh, uh, some, like, upgrades and stuff. I just haven't really been, uh, I'll probably get it. I'll do it all and clean up. Save. We should be getting pretty close to the, uh, next upgrade. It's actually one of the more iconic ones in the series. Um, down here, maybe right down here down here. Come on. There it goes. Do, do. Bouncing. Ah! You know what? Oh, no. Damn it! I thought I wasn't going to hit that. Well, at least these things are turned off. Stupid, annoying things. Alright. I Die, 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 die. There we go. What's over here? Oh, another dry key engine, too. Right, anyway. There it goes. Come on. There it goes. I have to give uh, Dr. Evan and team a lot of props. This, like, uh, this mechanic is actually pretty impressive, how it's, how it's done. That ball go. That was where I was gonna lose it. All right, cool. So now I think that one door is open. Wait, ooh, is there any walls I can buy? No. All right, let's see. All right. I think we are getting close to the uh, upgrade. I was close. <laughs> I don't hit that guy. <laughs> There's so many here. There we go. Ugh. Of course. Ow, ow, ow. So it's a safe way. That's boring. Just hide. There you go. No damage. Come on. Jump. There we go. There we go. Uh, feels good, guys. So, uh, the Iconic Screw Attack's back, and as you can expect, it's incredibly powerful, and it even just... It does actually kill these robotic enemies instantly. That's right. These things will not explode and kill you. So, woo! I don't know why, 
that just doesn't cause them to explode, but I'm not gonna complain. And of course, you can break through all these areas. Yeah, it's. Yeah, basically, the screw attack's pretty, uh, pretty powerful. It's just the only, the only it doesn't hurt is bosses and Metroids. So, but it's a very, very good item. Is in here, right through here. Still have a little bit of time. Actually, I think we have to go through that thing. Ah! Shortcuts are always nice. Oh, here. oh. I think there's a bunch of Metroids in here. Ah! Yeah, there are. Ah! I'm just spamming missiles. Come on. Come on. Yeah, it says screw attack one of these guys, unfortunately. Ah. Ah! Come on. Get over here. Ah! Come on. There we go. Okay, I have a feeling that... Again, I didn't play this far into hard mode, so I can only imagine how hard this would be. Like... Thank you. Okay. I think... Um... I need some time. Hopefully there's a safe station pretty soon. Can't go this far. So... Ah! Ah! Little bubbles are scary. It's like that, that that one movie where the bubble would like chase somebody and like like capture you in the bubble and you couldn't get out. I don't know how that was. Um, I think I have to go this way. Now that screw attack, I can break through a lot of areas, like a lot of walls. Because you get to all the end game walls. That we, I, all the ones I was showing you earlier throughout the playthroughs was like these. So now we can get through every, almost anything, which is nice. Oh, and speed of which, here is the fast travel room where we can get to. Uh, I don't know, I don't remember which one goes where, but I think uh, the first one up here. Actually, though, this one might take us to the Golden Temple. Let's find out. Uh, no, I think this is to the uh, industrial complex. Yeah, but see, here we are, and screw attack is a little bit different here. So pretty cool. Yeah, I think I'm gonna wrap up the stream pretty soon. Let me just see if I can find a safe station. Doo, doo, doo. Oddly enough, this is the only one that, that you can get into. Kind of makes me think, like, man, imagine if this game still had like, uh, it's true. Like, if this game was still in development, like, or it was technically not, you know, shut down because of Nintendo and the uh, the copyright thing. Like, they could have obviously updated the game and like added more patches, and maybe they could have added like more areas. It's kind of cool to think about. Ah. Do, do, do. Oh, is there one of these things here? Oh yeah, duh, right here. Let me see if I can, uh... Blink. Oh, I got it. Nice. Easy, that's kind of difficult. Woo! I, I hope there's a safe station over here. Not outside. Woo! There actually is a missile tank here, right there. Can't get that. I think I need <clears throat> need the gravity suit because I can't move in the water. So uh, let's see. Okay, this just gets us back outside. Let's just head, let's just head back to the safe station and then we'll call this call this obsession. Ah. Ah. Yes. Actually, I think I do need one of these things to get to the next area. I don't know. Again, I don't remember which one it is. Um, is it? It might be this one, actually. Yep, this might be it. Is there a safe station up here? Nah, there isn't. Ah! All right. 
I'm running out of time. I hate doing this, but I have to go back and get a safe station, and then we'll uh, continue on. I think there's one, like, yeah, there it is. Sorry about this, guys. Ugh. Wasting time. Wasting time. Eh. Alright. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll continue on with the distribution center in the next video. So, thanks again for watching, and uh, yeah, take it easy.